guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. Thanks so much for stopping by to check out my weekly meal prep. I kept it really simple this week. Um, for lunch, I'm doing barbecue chicken with vegetables for a total of one point on all plans. For breakfast, I'm doing a banana, chocolate chip, peanut butter, overnight oat, which is seven points on blue and green and four points on purple. And for snack, I made some ranch flavored air fried chickpeas and I forgot to total the points on that one. So I will make sure to leave them down below. Let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my chicken here. I am just using the Instapot for this. I've got one cup of chicken broth. I am just using the Kirkland's chicken stock. And then I wanted chicken breast, but I've got chicken breast chunks. So I'm going to be using those instead of the full breast, which I guess is just gonna save me from having to cut something up. Anyways, we'll go ahead and add our one cup of chicken broth to the Instapot. Go ahead and dump the whole bag of chicken in. Ooh, sorry for the noise. Keep that around a little bit. And then I'm going to go to pressure cook. We will do that for 20 minutes. Put the lid on. Make sure we're sealed. All right, we're rolling. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on my roasted chickpeas. I've got one can of chickpeas here. I have rinsed them. And then I have my seasonings here. In this bowl, I have one half teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of minced onion, one teaspoon of dill, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I have my spray olive oil. I'm just going to coat these a little bit with olive oil and make my usual mess. Make sure they're coated. And then I'm going to add my seasoning. Now this is supposed to end up being some type of a ranch flavor. So I found it on Pinterest and I will definitely let you guys know. Oh, for pity's sake. I'm absolutely clueless when it comes to what type of spices come in ranch seasoning. So I don't know what this will taste like, but I like all the seasonings that are in it. Oh my goodness. So once I get these coated, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my air fryer to 400 degrees. I'm gonna cook them for 10 minutes. I'm gonna stir them up really good and cook them for another 10 minutes or until they're to the crunchy consistency that I like. So let me go ahead and get these in the air fryer and I'll be back with ya. Okay guys, so our chickpeas are done. This is what they look like. I'll take a couple out. And they are nice and crunchy. They're not burnt. Now, perfect texture for me, but as far as the flavor goes, I didn't taste a whole lot of ranch. They taste good, but not like ranch. So I will take this recipe, but I'm not gonna call it ranch because the flavor just wasn't there, but they are good. So, Anyways, they're done. I've got them in this container. I'll put them in my snack cabinet and I will snack on them throughout the week. I can't remember how many points these were, so I will scan that on my phone here in a minute and then post it right down there for you. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, so somehow, it's not somehow, I got a new phone and for my entire meal prep, I ended up not recording my food and I only recorded in between making the food. So I have to redo my oats, which is why I am now putting them in these plastic containers. I'm gonna go ahead and redo the whole thing. We'll kind of try and add it in, see what happens, but oh, sorry for the, the messy video, but it's what I got. So again, these are my banana chocolate peanut butter overnight oats. I am using Premier Protein banana flavored for the banana. I'm gonna start with one third cup of overnight oats in each container. I'm 
And then we're gonna add a half a cup of the Banana Premier Protein to each container. Ooh, just enough. Gonna do one teaspoon of brown sugar replacement. I do use the swerve. Two tablespoons of PB2. Looks like I'm opening a new jar here. to do a half of a tablespoon of chia seeds. Boy, I always make a mess every time. Here, I thought I was going to make a recipe without making a mess, but there it is. PB2 exploded all over the counter. I've done worse, and I know you guys have seen that, so just be okay with that. We're going to do one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. Going to take my measuring spoon and give these a good stir. Maybe I should have just used a regular spoon. Hmm. All right. Let's try this again. I usually use a mason jar and I just use a butter knife to stir it and that always works fine. So I don't know why this is being such a booger. Maybe it's because it's a different char jar of PB2 and it's just not breaking up as good as it normally does. I don't know. One went better. There. All right. And now we're going to add one teaspoon of Lily's dark chocolate chips. And I'm using a half teaspoon because you guys just watched me use my teaspoon, the only clean one, to stir my food with. So, there we have it. Now what I'm going to do is put a lid on these and I will put them in the fridge overnight and they will be ready to go for tomorrow. So, here we go. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me on this video. All right, so as you guys have already heard, I <laughs> had some operator errors slash technical difficulties um, with my new phone. 
So I just wanted to take a quick minute to come on here and show you how I ended up completing my lunch meal prep. Here I have my chicken. Here I have my G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then for my side, I just did a serving of the Bird's Eye Normandy blend vegetables. I put them in here frozen and then I added some garlic and herb seasoning to the top of them. And then when I go to reheat my chicken, I'll obviously remove this and then that will completely cook the vegetables. So thanks again guys for bearing with me on this. Um, next video should be a little bit better, I would hope. I just got to get used to my camera. Thanks guys. All right, guys, that was it. I told you it was going to be quick and easy. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm excited to try these recipes. I will be doing a day in the life slash what I eat in the day tomorrow, so that should be posted. I would say either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how busy we get. But anyways, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for everything, and until next time, keep smiling. Bye, guys.